Hello. Hello. Ah. All right. Okay. Fuck. Fucking. Here we go. <laughs> uh. Let me know if you can. Hopefully you can hear me, and hopefully it's, it sounds about right. I don't know what's going on. Uh. Shit. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Hello gamers. Oh fuck. I forgot about the light too. Uh, <laughs> very scoffed stream today. Uh, welcome in. Hello gamers. Welcome to the Condition Bleem broadcast. My name is Martin. Um, hold on. Bear with me a second here. Oh god. There we go. Yeah. Hello. How's everyone doing? Uh, it's been a... 
been a bit weird day. Uh, I feel like I'm running late to everything, but you know, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, <laughs> hope everyone is having a great Friday. Um, looking forward to the weekend. We've got a, a long weekend here in the UK. Uh, Monday's off, so looking forward to that. Probably just going to be catching up on sleep. I've been so busy over the, over the last what feels like month. Um, I went to I went to that um, film festival last week as well. Uh, Tuesday I went to a gig. Saw the chats. That was that was pretty sick. Um, and yesterday I went to see the room uh, with live commentary by Greg Sestero, who plays Mark. So that was that was fun. Um, but yeah, I I just feel like I haven't been at home for you know <laughs> basically a, I've only been home for like sleep and and you know streaming and like a couple a couple minor things. But, you know, uh, so yeah, uh, let's see, let's see. So, so what are we doing today? Um, <laughs> I've got a bit of a, it's a bit of an odd stream. Um, so I basically, um, I, I, I brought it up. I mean, I showed it off, I think on, on Monday, this past Monday. Um, but basically I've picked up an Ejicon, which is, um, uh, this, um, twisty, Sort of a, like analog controller by by Namco. Um, they 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 released for the uh, for the original PlayStation. And so um, you know, I've kind of heard cool, you know, both good and bad things about it. I've, I've been kind of curious to test it because there are loads of people who swear by it. You know, for Wipeout, Ridge Racer, all sorts of stuff. Um, because Basically, and I and I didn't realize that this was. I, I I figured that people were just kind of like, you know, people just thought that it was it was fun or whatever, or they like enjoyed the way it felt or whatever. But like, I didn't realize that at the time that this came out, the Dual Shock or the uh, you know like analog, dual analog controller for the PlayStation wasn't a thing. So if you wanted to play a game like. Um, you know, Ridge Racer or, or something that had been ported over from uh, from an arcade game with analog controls or, you know, Wipeout or whatever, those wouldn't have analog support or there wouldn't be an analog controller for them. So the only way to play them was with something like this, like a purpose-built controller, right, that was then supported in software. Uh, and so, you know, that kind of... That kind of puts things into perspective because you know like playing playing racing games with with just a, a d-pad isn't is an ideal you know to find control and stuff so um so you know i i finally picked one up and i was like i'm i might as well you know give it a go so i, I figured i figured i would test it out uh there's a there's a pretty long list all things considered of like racing games and like a lot of them you know uh, uh, are kind of like forgotten, you know. I, I I I was I was going through the list and and the main ones that that kind of like that I recognize anyway uh, were Wipeout and Ridge Racer, um, you know. But they they were pretty much they supported it like pretty much well into the like PlayStation Two era. Like even Wipeout Fusion uh, supports it. So um, so you know, basically I figured let's give it a shot. Um, <laughs> It, 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 it may or may not be, you know, the best controller ever. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I'm a bit, I'm a bit, you know, curious about it. Because it's, it, it's, it might be a bit sort of counterintuitive. Because, you know, like you're rotating it, you know, like this to go left and right. So we'll see, we'll see if that's, if, if that breaks my brain, you know. Because it's, it's kind of like the same, uh, uh. I don't know. It, it strikes me as the same i same vibe as as like those remote control, you know, RC car, uh, like remote controls that that always just felt really weird to me. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Um, so yeah, uh, a bit of a caveat is that um, you know I'm I'm playing on PC, and so. Uh, I am relying basically, or I'm using an adapter, or a, uh, you know, like a like a converter um, to connect it via USB. 
And the current adapter that I have, uh, I've been having issues with. It kind of works. It, most of the most of the the analog input works on it, uh, but I ma haven't managed to get the uh, one of the triggers to work. So, uh, what I'm thinking is uh, is that I'm going to remap that trigger because ultimately, oh, get uh, okay. Yeah, I, I should explain that too. Okay, so hold on. So, um, I yeah. So so basically, you've got the like standard. You know, that's that's the like the main main input, right? That's the, your real twist. That's going to be your steering or whatever. Then on top of that, you've got these uh, one and two. These red buttons are the are basically also analog, so they're like pressure sensitive buttons. And then you've got you know two additional face buttons that are just regular digital buttons. You've got a D-pad, um, and then the right bumper is just a button, so that's also digital. And then the left bumper, left trigger is is also analog and this is the one that i haven't managed to get to work so i've got i've got a uh, an alternative uh, adapter that is confirmed to support it completely um as it stands with this one that i currently have which is a um fucking okay, well it's a, it's one of those like old smart joy so this this was a this was an adapter like that that was around at the time and uh, I don't know. I guess it might be like it's like kind of kind of infamous. I don't know like the history behind it, but it's basically it, it came with a floppy disk. So the drivers come on a floppy. Uh, I haven't needed it. Um, I think I think in in the Windows, you know, Windows 10, Windows 11 era, it, it, it's kind of like plug and play these days. Um, but apparently, you, back in the day, if you wanted uh, vibration support, you had to install the drivers first. Uh, so yeah, so basically, um, the way typically, and, and, and we'll, we'll see this, but the way that wipeout works typically is that you would have your air brake, um, mapped to your, uh, shoulder buttons, right? Or your, your trigger plus shoulder button in this case. Now, there's no real reason for that to be analog in early wipeout especially because one of them is going to be digital anyway. So what I was thinking is I'm, I'm just going to remap that trigger to one of the one of the D-pad buttons and then that's on the side. Um, yeah, because because like steering is all handled by the, by the spin or uh, twisting anyway. So basically that's kind of the idea. Um, I've got uh, Wipeout, the original Wipeout. I've got Wipeout. Uh, 2097 or more specifically excel which is the sequel um it was released in the us as excel and the only reason why i have that version is because it's the the ntsc one that runs at 60 hertz um uh, so i don't have to <laughs> like reconfigure the whole setup um but yeah so you know we can we can kind of like give those a go um if it sucks if if i hate the controls um you know, I might either just swap to like a regular controller, or alternatively, I can play um, uh, uh, I can play Wipeout Fusion as well, which is a game that I haven't played myself. Um, so, you know, I've, I've I've been meaning to I've been meaning to try it for the longest time. It's it's a bit of like I don't know if it's fair to call it the uh, the black sheep. Of the uh, of of the uh, of the series, I guess, or it would have been back in the day. It's kind of like the odd one out because um, graphically it looks different. They didn't use they they didn't work with the uh, the Designers Republic for the for the graphic um, graphic design. So like the, the the overall aesthetic is different. The sort of gameplay is also different. There are some things where it kind of returns to its roots because uh, Wipeout 3, uh, which preceded it, kind of departed in, in some ways from, from the first two. Um, but then it also introduces things like uh, um, sort of like off track segments where you just have like a, like a, like an open sort of like field, you know, 
or it's kind of like a like a desert environment. It it feels like to me from from what I've seen or the very very little that I've played, um, it it strikes me as something that was heavily inspired by like episode one, like Star Wars episode one racer, or well, you know, or like pod racing in general. Like there are certain like design cues and like the way that the 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 maps are set up. I think it it kind of like it it gives off that vibe. But you know, I don't know. Some people say it's it's good. <laughs> so so I'd, I'd be curious to, to test it myself. So you know, um, but yeah. Uh, other than that, I'm trying to think if there was anything else to to discuss. Um, but yeah. So yeah. It, ultimately, you know, it, this this might end up becoming a, a a bit of a bit of a short stream. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if I. Um, <laughs> If I'm annoyed by it or or, or whatever, like I, I might just I might just call it, um, you know, or alternatively I might just wait for the other adapter to to arrive and then I can give it a bit more of a uh, a fair shot because I also don't know if the um, if the calibration of the of the analog inputs is going to be okay. There are some things that you can uh, correct that you can set up in game. But for example, for the for the um, pressure sensitive buttons, I don't think there's a calibration. So if those don't work properly, it it might be a it might be a, a, a pain because um, you know one of the quirks of this is that you're basically using um, analog buttons to do uh, to handle a digital input, right? So like because of their location on the controller, they might take the role of like um, of, of like weapons right to fire up a weapon which doesn't need to be analog so depending on where you set the the actuation point you know along that curve um you know it it may feel better or worse like if you because if you have to like bottom out uh that that might be that might be kind of annoying uh especially because in you know you don't have you don't have you only have one shoulder button uh on either side so if you want to set, you know, if you want to use all of your uh, face buttons for uh, um, throttle, um, use weapon, discard weapon, change view. I mean, you know, changing view you wouldn't be using regularly. But like if you, if you want to both attack and be able to discard the weapon in some of the later games, like it kind of forces you to take your finger off the of the throttle, which is an ideal. Or like you have to do like a weird kind of like claw thing, right? Where you have to like uh, uh, tr try to cover like three different buttons with like two fingers or something. So that kind of sucks. But you know, and, and so yeah, like we'll find out. We'll find out. Um, also, uh, I guess I, you know, part of the reason um, I might as well just you know just just, just you know. Uh, uh, explain. So part of the reason why I why I originally scheduled this uh, uh, this stream on Friday was because I was hoping to um, uh, uh, to stay on until what is basically 1 a.m. my time. It's uh, 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 Jet has a has a pretty cool stream planned. Uh, she's debuting her her own CRT setup, which she's been working on for the longest time, and I wanted to raid into it, uh, but I think that might be slipping a little bit because <laughs> uh, uh, she ended up just like playing uh, Dark Souls for a, a, a bajillion hours yesterday uh, well basically still today uh, so she said she might delay it um, because of like you know setup is going to take long anyway and, and all of that kind of shit uh, I was like uh, you know realistically I'm probably not going to stay stay on for that long because that, that, that would be like 3 or 4 a.m. my time I think she said it was like noon or 1 or something so you know i might just i might just do like a shorter stream you know like if i run out of steam i'll, I'll just you know um find someone else and and you know uh but yeah um i might as well give her a shout out though um <laughs> she, she's been around I, I don't know you you've probably seen her i've rated her before um you know but just in case you're you're new or whatever um you know uh this will be happening later tonight if if you're in Europe, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, it's it's kind of DJ hours, but you know. All right, yeah. 
Okay, cool. Uh, with all that said, I think I think that officially that that's that's everything I wanted to cover. Uh, I'm gonna change the category. I'm gonna load up. Um, I'm gonna load up wipeout, and uh, we'll we'll take it from there. Oh yeah. Also, um, final thing I forgot. Uh, I I I wanted to talk about a little bit about the sort of like the setup because, um, I'm I'm well I'm so I'm I'm running this off of my PC, but um, I did test the controller on on an actual on real hardware. Um, wait, hold on. Yeah, so I did test it on real hardware just to make sure that it wasn't the controller that's faulty. Um, so I, I loaded up uh, Wipeout Fusion on, on the PS2 and it did work perfectly fine. So I, I you know, this just led, leads me to believe that it's the, it's, the, it's the adapter that has an issue. Um, but yeah. I fucking loved it. Like, the, the, the first... Well, all all of the Wipeout games really um, have just like really unique. Did someone say Wipeout? Hell yeah! Welcome in. Hey Andy, how you doing? Um, they all have really cool aesthetics. Like each each in a very different way. Like even even within the like PlayStation One era, they they changed quite a bit from one to another. Uh, but you know, like if you if you're familiar, if if you have seen uh uh the uh, uh hit hit film uh uh hackers from from 1995 as well, uh, you might recognize some of this uh <laughs> because it, it featured a, a beta version of uh or like an early early dev build of uh, Wipeout. It looks and plays nothing like this version. Well, or, or rather, it plays nothing like this version in terms of the the you know mechanics, but it's 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 a cool it's a cool tidbit anyway. Um, wait, hold on. I don't know if I can skip this now. But yeah, like the original Wipeout looks really cool. Incredible soundtrack. Um, twenty ninety seven, I love as well. And then you know. Three is also incredible. Like it, it, they're all in in different ways. Uh, like ninety seven is a lot grittier, I guess. It's a lot more sort of like dirty sort of cyberpunk stuff. Um, whereas Wipeout Three is a lot more sort of Y two K almost. It's it's a like a very sort of late nineties vibe. Okay, all right. So let me see, for example, like if I, uh, let me see if I can configure this in a way that makes sense. Uh, okay, so hopefully, right. So, so I've remapped it um, so that the basically the the trigger that doesn't work for me um, is now remapped to to one of the um, D-pad buttons. So basically, just to show you real quick, um, in the first game, uh, it's kind of a primitive kind of a primitive thing. Uh, I don't think you can. Uh, uh, um, I don't think you can configure a whole lot. I haven't been able to figure out how to do it. 
but it does recognize that's really cool that it does recognize that you have a joy con uh um uh, energy con i bet sorry um it does recognize that you have an energy con it shows you co the correct prompts so the uh you know select and back will will show as like one and b uh you can also enter in the joy uh, in the configuration uh you know you can you can set your presets which yeah see so this is what i was kind of talking about earlier if you um if you look at if you look at this for example you'll have like thrust on what would otherwise be x right and that's that's an analog input and then you've got fire on what otherwise would be uh, square which on this controller is also an analog input which basically means that you have to like um you know like if you are if you going full throttle that means that you have to kind of like push your thumb down on on the square button and like apply quite a bit of pressure for it to for it to like actuate uh, or for it to register so i think i think uh what i might end up going with is is uh is this one so this way this way i'm gonna have like the the back part of the of my thumb on the thrust and then i can fire uh this one doesn't have uh the first game doesn't have a discard um weapon button thankfully uh yeah and then the right air brake is is just digital uh left air brake is also going to be digital in, in this case because i'm being mapped it so hopefully that's okay and then and then you can look at the the magic on twist i have no idea how to like i haven't been able to figure out how to actually do this you can it, it shows up like you can you can preview it and it, it will tell you like what the angle is um you can tell that this particular version that i have this particular unit has a bit of a uh a bit of a drift or like the that zone is not exactly zero degrees but it should be okay um i think i think later games have way more way more options or way more comprehensive settings so you can set your dead zone um you can say it set maximum you know twist angle uh, that kind of stuff so so you can you can um uh, uh, fine tune it quite a bit i um you know we might we might just move on to to um to 97 afterwards uh, you know we can give that a go as well but if I go, if I go with this, um, let's see. But yeah, the the first game is kind of kind of arcadey in the sense that it doesn't. I mean, there are there are championships basically uh, that that you can you know that are used to unlock. Uh, uh, different different speed classes and all sorts of other things uh but overall it doesn't really have a story so you you kind of just you know just jump right into it you've got your standard single race time trial you've got a championship um you've got uh a couple couple of teams unlocked i don't remember if um i don't remember if 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 the original wipeout had any more than, than just the four teams i think that's that's all of them uh, later games will have teams behind behind the, uh, a wall where you basically have to unlock them. Um, but yeah. Uh, also, uh, I typically wouldn't play. I wouldn't be a, a Pfizer uh, a pilot. I it, I know that I I know that I set it up. You know, it's it's Pfizer Friday because of the alliteration and everything and like that's that's a hashtag that people use on 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 twitter occasionally um but i i always felt like pfizer is just kind of like the kind of boring very like beginner option because it's it's not a particularly it, it's it's a very balanced ship or it's a very balanced craft right so it's like not particularly fast not particularly beefy you know it's just kind of like the easy one that you would play first I don't know why people love it so much. I don't know if it's like it's because because it's meant to be like the European team, so people have pride for it or something, uh, or back then, you know. Um, but 
whatever. I think I think I am gonna go with it this time around though, because I don't have that much experience playing the original Wipeout, and I'm, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna need any, you know, <laughs> all the control I, I I can I can get. Uh, you can pick your you can pick your pilot, which ultimately doesn't do much. It just changes the, the color scheme. I think. Uh, the manual does have stats for them. Uh, I used to not like them much, uh, but now I play Pfizer a ton on HD Fury. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I, I'm, well, so like I played HD and, and Fury quite a bit as well. Like that was probably the, uh, also welcome in, uh, Paige, how, how you doing? Um, but yeah, like I, HD Fury is probably the game that I've played the most. Uh, phase are optimized for handling. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, um, you know, like like HD Fury is probably the the wipeout game that I've played the most as well, and I always I would always gravitate either towards Kyrex or AG systems. I think I think later on mostly AG systems, because like I feel like once you get once you get pretty good at it. And and you're not hitting the wall nearly as much, and and you can you can handle the the sort of like more technical tracks as well. Um, not, having a slightly weaker shield pays off. Like you just get that you know that little speed bump. Like it's it's not like a uh, uh, oh I'm, I'm forgetting. It's not it's not like a Nicarus or something, you know. But it's like it, it's like a like a made out of glass, but it it flies really quickly really fast you know but but it's it's a it's kind of like a middle middle ground that i that i always thought worked for me um so yeah i don't know i don't know if the if there are any particular stats uh for the pilots that actually make a difference i know that they've got like uh the the manual does have um little little bits of info on them so like it says where they're from how much they weigh you know there's a little bit of backstory so there are like um uh what is it Ariel Tetsuo and and her and her sister uh who who pilot you know for different teams there, there are bits like that but okay so here we go uh, <laughs> uh oh jesus okay uh, hold on hold on hold on i don't know if third person helps we'll see it it always felt like this this particular view always felt like a bit weird to me because it's it's kind of off center. Um, I'm gonna be bumping into the walls a lot. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. But yeah. Uh, oh Jesus. Okay. Okay. At least. It looks like the the air brake does work. No. Nope. Nope. Moin. Oh. But yeah. Oh. Mm. I I feel like. I feel like it would benefit from from being able to set the uh, sort of maximum maximum turning angle. Is it? Oh fuck! It's very twitchy. It's very twitchy. I'll uh, see. Yeah, this might be this. This might just be a couple hours of me just like failing miserably at, at wipeout. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, oh god. Moin. Moin. Oh great. Yeah.
I mean, so far, I, I haven't even needed the, uh, I mean, I, I, I guess this is, you know, it's a lower speed class, but I haven't felt like I needed the, the air brake at all. Um, but. Oh God. Uh, wait, hold on. Um, I'll catch up. I'll catch up with chat. Uh, I don't know if I think you might be able to barrel. We'll see. I don't remember if it was mapped to. Um, is it the same as in later games where it's like a left, right, left kind of thing? We'll find out. I seem to remember that you could do it in 2097. But I don't know. I, I could be making that up. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. No, I didn't get enough air to try it that time. Um. Fuck. Yeah, you might be right. No, no, you might be right. Um. Oh no, I think uh, so. Basically, what I was thinking of, I think, is um. Uh, so there are there are a couple there are a couple of things like that where um, some some evolution uh, from one game to another. So this this game uh, I don't believe has um, pitch control, which then then they introduce for 2097, Shockwave. and I think uh, Wipeout Three retains it. Oh my god! Uh, but then Wipeout Fusion doesn't. Well, I'm not sure. Wipeout Fusion might... Oh my god. Might have pitch control still. I'm not sure. Uh, I would have to check. That was... That was atrocious. Okay, hold on. <laughs> uh... 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 Babe says, I was a Triarchist fan when I was younger because I like the military aesthetic, but now all about... Yeah. Pyrex, AG, and Pfizer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um... Triarchus is still fun, or like it, it has its uses for specific modes. So especially for like Eliminator and things like that, you know, where like you don't need to go particularly fast. Um, yeah, Google says it was introduced to you. Okay, cool. All right, well, that was atrocious. I came eight, <laughs> uh, failed to qualify. Can I just try again? Uh, continue qualifying or quit? All right, I don't know. Well. We'll see. We'll see. I'm tempted to. I'm tempted to load up 2097 right away, actually, and see and see what kind of what kind of options it gives you. Because it feels way too twitchy. Oh, okay, hold on. Yeah, it doesn't help that so the these early games are very very technical in the sense that so the way that the physics work is that like if you hit a wall you basically it it, it almost slows you down to a standstill. So like you have to be you have to be very careful. Especially, yeah. Ah, fuck. No, no. 
No, that's bad. That's really bad. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, it's just like... It, it feels like it would benefit from from some kind of calibration let me let me see let me let me try it something um yes is um uh, it doesn't it do, it also doesn't help i was i was trying to do a bit of research ahead of time um to see whether or like how to set it up and as far as i can tell the manual doesn't say anything about the uh the nojicon specifically so the the control options are you know only for the regular playstation controller um and uh And like looking for looking for guides, you know, from you know, like early two thousands or whatever is is kinda kinda tricky these days. Because uh, I'm like I'm okay. So cause if I go for example, if I go back to, to where we were previously. Uh, options. Joypad config. Because it says define Nergicon twist. Define maximum lock. Full lock is two. Like, I don't know if you can. Oh, yeah, no, maybe you can. Okay. Um... So if I do this, and I go back. Full lock is ah. Okay, so you just have to hit select on it. Okay, let me try. Let me try this. I don't know what it was set to. Maybe, maybe that was part of the problem. Uh, let's try venom. Let's try that because so now now I've explicitly set it so that the maximum I guess the full lock is what they're calling it I guess is the maximum uh maximum input that you can give it and that's the full rotation so hopefully this will kind of expand extend the the range and give me finer control we'll see I mean, oh, okay, yeah, no, that's way better, I think. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see. But. I mean, it, it is, it, there is, uh, there is also the, the, the possibility or like the, uh, <laughs> oh, come on. What's up, anti anti graph people? Uh, welcome in, welcome in, Tyronax. How you doing? Um, yeah, I am. I am currently uh, failing to to play Wipeout with with the Nechicon. <laughs> is is what's happening? I think I think I I think this helps. Uh, I think I, this this configuration is much better than what it used to be. Um, but you know. Like I say, it's it's perfectly possible that I'm just bad at it. <laughs> uh, maybe maybe I'm a, I'm better with the with the regular controller. We'll see. Never good at wipeout. I I mean I I I got okay. Like I was okay at some of them. Uh, 
the physics are very different from for the for the early games. So me being used to mostly HD uh, doesn't doesn't help a whole lot. Oh, damn, it. damn it! But yeah, no, I think I think that changing the uh, the twist or, or configuring the twist did definitely do something. Because this feels manageable. Okay, come on, come on. I don't even know what I need to qualify. Hopefully I don't need to win the championship because that's that's gonna be a that's gonna be a challenge. We might be here a while. Really looked quite nasty there, Martin. Sure did. Uh. Okay. All right. Okay, that's better. That's better. All right. Let me let me catch up. Let me catch up. Um. Yeah, I'm sure you know, but Ballistic NG is a good game. Uh, that's so evidently a spiritual successor. Yes, yes. I um. Oh, uh, it's it's one hundred percent. It's one hundred percent. Like a, like a you know, uh, Ashley Miami, welcome in. I know. See, that's the thing. I maybe maybe I need to. Uh, I really do need to plug it. I really do need to just remind people that ex it exists. Um. Oh, also, also, also. Uh, important note. The the AI TTS now works. Uh, albeit very slowly. Uh, <laughs> It it it. Uh, I've I've updated the the little tooltips, the little war warnings next to them, um, so it now says like give it a minute or something, because it may take up to you know like thirty or forty seconds sometimes for it to for it to generate the, the clip and actually play it, but it does work now. Hopefully. Yeah, 
I don't know if that you might, it might be possible to 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 go back, but whatever, I'll take it. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't matter. Yeah, no sign of no sign of Duke Nukem. Uh, come on. That's sad. That's very sad. He might still show up. We'll find out. I think I think I might need to change it so that I can. Um. I don't know if I can refund those because they they skipped the the rewards queue, but hopefully. I, I might be able to do it. You know, in a way that I can refund those points. But I'll, I'll try a different one. I'll try a different one in a second. But yeah, I'm, I mean, got plenty of points. That's, I mean, that's fine. But, you know, like still, uh, I, I do, re you know, I do recognize, I, I do realize that the channel points are like inflationary. <laughs> so. I'm, I'm, you know, I, I don't, I don't think I'm going to change the, the prices anytime soon, but, you know, hopefully, hopefully people will have more of a, will be able to use them more. Ah. Oh, come on. Son of a bitch. Got me the worst possible spot. Okay. Great. Damn it. Alright. Yeah, the, uh... <laughs> I thought, I thought it wouldn't be much of an issue the way that I remapped the, uh, the air break, but it's kind of throwing me off a little bit. We'll see. Moin. Oh, damn This is this is bound to be a, oh that was that was also a very short race. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, can I continue? Can I just re retry? Okay. We'll see. But yeah, these might be very very uh very embarrassing. I don't think I managed to take that corner properly <laughs> in in all of these attempts. Okay, come on. Oh, 
Shockwave. Uh, I am using the twisty controller. Yes. Uh, I'll, I'll. Yeah. One sec. One sec. One sec. It's it's a uh, it's kind of working. So I need I I've got another adapter in order that fully supports it. The current one that I have is missing a nexus. So basically, uh, let, uh, let me see. So, so the twist works. Uh, there are two analog buttons, like pressure sensitive uh, face buttons, that work. Uh, and then one of the one of the triggers or one of the the shoulder buttons is analog as well. This one doesn't register. So what I've done is I've just remapped it to um, to one of the D-pad uh, directions. But yeah, it's it it you know as a as kind of like as a proof of concept or, or like for me to for me to kind of like get the gist of it. I think I think it's enough. I I I do need to. I feel like I need to rewire my my brain to get it to work. But it, it's okay. Um, I don't think that qualifies. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, right. Let's let's uh, let's keep trying. I might need to I might need to set the steering somewhere in between because I'm like I'm <laughs> I can feel like I'm twisting my entire body just to to take some of these turns. Uh, I think I think I might have gone from one extreme to another. body yes i'm like <laughs> i'm like i, I genuinely I, like i have to move my my arms to, to do it But yeah, um, Ashley, how was the? I didn't, I, I didn't ask. Sorry, I. How was, how was uh, Vixie's stream? Was it uh, bolt gun that you were playing? I was running a bit late with setup, so I, I couldn't tune in.
That's an improvement. Still fail to qualify. It was cool. Both gonna sick. Oh, you switched to Zelda. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom, I assume. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Ugh. Well, at least at least this gives me an option. Uh, it gives me the opportunity to to go and and mess a bit with the. Uh, uh, Vixie found out you can you can't use bomb arrows in hot environments. Oh, <laughs> is that like found out the hard way? Uh, okay, let's let's try this again. Joypad config, Magicon twist. Oh, buddy, <laughs> the hardest way. Okay, all right, let's try let's try like halfway. If I do this, right? Oh, yeah, if if this if this also doesn't work, I might actually just try a different team. Maybe maybe I should have just gone with AG systems to begin with. To look up, I'll have to look up that one. Um, I'm, I'm curious to see those uh, those bomb arrows. to say so far i'm i'm not sold on the magicon it's it's heartbreaking i really wanted to love it but i don't know man it's just a bit weird oh come on
Uh oh. No. Damn it. Did I get second last time? I think I think I might still be able to do that. I think I've got most of a lap left. We'll see if I can kind of close the gap here. Okay, well not like this. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. I also don't know how bad the rubber banding is, um, or whether if whether there's any. I suspect there might be some, but uh, yeah, like race leader is nowhere to be found, or nowhere to be seen. So who knows? All right. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. I think that was a race record as well. All right. Let's see if I can manage not to fuck it up this time. I'm going to do the, the lightest of taps. Um. Uh, let's do, let's do an MRT. Yeah, that seems to be a bit, a bit temperamental, a bit hit and miss when. Because yeah, it's it's kind of like one of those sort of awkward things where you're basically your your confirm, you know, your 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 X or your cross button is is now like an analog trigger. It's kind of weird. Well, not you know, not trigger, but like functionally. Ah. This feels a little bit more manageable, but it's still kind of... Missile. Missile. This this feels manageable though. I'm uh, you know I'm fourth. Uh, I can see the third one. You know so like lap two, starting lap three. Come on, come on. 
Have some mines. Have some more mines. Damn it. Like, it has its moments. It has its moments. Sometimes it feels very satisfying. Okay, I'll take third. Um, again, I don't know what any of this will translate into. I don't remember what the mechanics of the championships were. Like, I'm joint second now, but I don't know if I need a certain position to, uh, to unlock the next bit. We'll find out. But yeah, it's it's got like it's it's got brief moment where it, moments where it's very satisfying, you know, like if you if you get it right. But I feel like that you can you can get that with with pretty much digital controls too. Oh, that's gonna be rough. Uh, with these games, it's super imperative to know these tracks very, very well. Um, yeah, possibly. I mean, it was certainly the case with later games. Maybe it, it applies to these as well. Um, moin. I mean, yeah, like, I think, I think, uh, I think some of these might take a couple of, couple of attempts. I'm, I'm like, kind of getting better at it, but we'll find out. But yeah, no, like, um, it's, I think, I think with later games, at least, um, you really do need to remember where the, um, where the pads are basically i'm the 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 boost pads in this game don't seem to or like don't feel like they give you that much of a boost um or like certainly not you know compared to say hd I'm gonna fall off here. Oh no, just about. All right. Missile. Missile. 
Alright, let me let me catch up on chat, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I've been having a hard time reading them. Uh, with these games, uh, is it super imperative to know... Oh, it is super imperative to know the tracks very well. Because my reactions were never up to the task doing it purely by reaction. That, yeah, I, I would agree with that. But the track knowledge is super important. Uh, yes, it, yes, absolutely. The the wall thing is, like, the, the way the physics work, like, it really just slows you down so much. Um, yeah, yeah. Wipeout, so Wipeout 3 is a bit different. Um, it's got a sl slightly different, uh, um, like, mechanically it's slightly different. I'm not, I don't remember how it compares in terms of the war collisions and stuff like that, but it also has that, like, afterburner thing. Uh, always disappointed war cage doesn't get big. Yeah, yeah. That was also, that was also Psygnosis, wasn't it? I think it was same, same studio. Um, I was looking, I was looking at it actually, and I, as far as I can tell, weirdly enough, War Cage didn't have, um, uh, didn't have uh, energy con support for some reason. All right, let's let's try this again. Qualify. I don't know how many attempts you get. I think it was three. I think. I don't think I quit myself last time. I think it just gave me game over. So there is some kind of a limit. Let's see. Yeah. I I miss I miss um Street Liverpool or well Psygnosis. I know that so the there's there's basically the a large chunk of the yeah no, that's not gonna work um a large chunk of the um can i can i retry this can i restart it will that count as a are you sure you want to restart yes let's see let's see let me let me try uh I also don't remember if there's um if there's like a boost that you can get off the starting line. I might be I might be missing out on on something. I'll have to I'll have to look in the manual or something. But yeah, so like um basically after after Sony shut down Studio Liverpool, uh, the some of the some of the devs ended up forming Fire Sprite. And I mean, the studio still, you know, still exists in a in a way. But they've been they've been working on. Uh, they they are. I think they are the ones who developed like the um, uh, sort of like the Astros. What is it like? 
play playhouse playground or whatever that is the like little white robot thingy that spawn that spawned all with playstations uh some like vr stuff i think for uh horizon yeah they're still in liverpool but it's like they i think i think they they like explicitly say you know like in their um in their bio and stuff like if you look at them look look them up online they will explicitly say that it's like studio formed by former studio liverpool people um like they, they are still kind of like trying to keep that brand alive i guess not, or you know not brand but like that continuity uh i just kind of hope they they eventually get to work on a racing game again i think i think uh Oh, Jesus Christ. Astro's Playgroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, um... <laughs> oh, great. Can I... Let me, let me see. Let me see. Can I... Alright, I'm... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Can I cheese it? Can I... Uh, my, my question is, can I cheese it? Can I keep restarting? Uh... No, it gives you game over. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, uh, I've seen chat. Um, there are some very good videos about the problems and stagnation within the driving genre at the minute. Oh, Race Vic does a great job. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well... <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna give it another go. I think I'm gonna give it another go. Um, just a, just a final attempt, and then if that doesn't work out, I'll just move on to uh, I'll 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 give uh 2097 or XL a go as well. Let me try. Let me try AG systems. Oh no, not AG systems. Uh, wait, can I look at the stats? Do they have stats in in the game, or is it just in the manual? Uh, AG systems, acceleration, speed, mass, turning circle. Uh, oh yeah, no, no, it, it is AG systems. I do need AG systems. So basically AG systems has more acceleration, uh, slightly higher top speed than, than Pfizer and slightly lower turning circle. Or slightly worse turning circle. I don't know how which way that goes, but yeah, because Kyrex is very high top speed but low acceleration, which would benefit from knowing the track. And Oricom is pretty heavy, so we'll see. We'll see if this if this helps. Uh, yeah, let's go, John Decker. One thing, one thing that I that I kind of missed uh, in in later later Wipeout games is they they had quite a bit of quite a bit of lore as well, or like you know, all things considered, like they had pilots with backstories and and like actual names and all sorts of like rival rivalries. Like uh, if you've seen if you've seen the um, uh, the music video for for Fluke's Atom Bomb. From uh, from uh, 2097. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like if you if you so in the um, the music video for 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 Adam Bomb features uh, uh, Arian Tatsuo, who is one of the one of the uh, uh, Auricon pilots. The, the girl with the uh, with the purple hair and twin tails, and it's got like like you know like full on like anime or like animated cutscene or like scenes in there as well and like uh, you know like live action sort of like uh, costume stuff as well.
Come on. Oh yeah, I remember Hellfire. I remember Hellfire WZ. That was it. That was like, oh man, that is such a that is such a throwback. That was like, you know, just. I remember, I remember, you know, like playing playing HD and and like looking up like world records and shit and just being like completely baffled by them. <laughs> I'll take that though. I'll take that. Uh, like that. That felt better. Oh, look at this dude. Um. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That might very well be just the. Uh. uh what if he go go? <laughs> yeah, he gone. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Evil, evil, and and cyberpunk. Come on, come on. All right. Yeah, it it feels a bit feels a bit hit and miss sometimes. I don't know how much of that is due to the the adapter or or just like the controller being kind of kind of weird. Shockwave. 
Ah. Some of these some of these tight turns are really tricky. Or like I should I should anticipate them way more than I than I do. But yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if it sounded kind of like Crash Bandicoot. That was probably... Whether it's, you know... Uh... Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily go as far as to say that it's like, you know, plagiarism or anything. But, like, it's probably, like, informed or, like, inspired by the same kind of... It's weird. It's weird. Uh, like, let's 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 try again. I also don't know that what the sort of like. Oh fuck. Yeah, I don't think I've managed to take that corner properly in all of this time. I always I always get blindsided by it. Should be focusing more. Um. But yeah, I also don't know what the what the history behind the uh, the soundtrack is. To be honest. Like. Presumably, presumably a lot of these would have been composed for the game. I guess. But then, you know, uh, especially especially later on, I mean, well, really, like, starting with 2097, like, you start seeing, um, you know, like, groups like the Prodigy popping up and stuff like that, or, like, you know, Future Sound of London and stuff. So I guess, I guess those maybe would have just been licensed. Like I think I think cold storage and stuff might have composed these specifically for a wipeout. Yeah, it's really unforgiving. Like when you get hit, you just like you you're screwed. Come on, I need one more position.
What's going on? I think I get one more attempt with this track. If I if I fail, I'll just <laughs> I'll just give up. But yeah, I'll give uh, uh, twenty nine to seven a go, and then I think what I'll do is if I'm if I'm really bad at that one as well, I I might just swap out the controller and and give it like a couple attempts with with just the regular regular controller see how that works because i this one the the original wipeout i never played that much uh wipeout 2097 i did i did kind of play quite a bit more at the time or like well not at the time but like when i was when i was younger it was like like 2097 would have been would have been a game uh, that I I emulated on like my first well maybe not the first but like my second smartphone you know like the in, like 20 2011 2012 era when like hardware started to get good enough that you could you could just do that or like you could even you could even connect uh, like a like a PlayStation 3 controller uh, via Bluetooth and stuff. I was I was obsessed with the aesthetics of 2097 at the time. Oh, fuck. All right. I'll take, I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, I guess I just need to like really get in the zone, but it still feels very hit and miss. Like, okay. I don't actually remember also I don't remember how this works. Is it like just three tracks for per, per championship? And then I don't remember if the um if the tracks themselves were available in different speed um speed classes or if there were specific tracks that were Venom and then other tracks that were Rapier, etc. Fuck me. All right. No. 
That is that is also super unforgiving. It takes so long to get put back on the track. Let's see if I, I don't think I can salvage this one. Uh, this might not be this might not be the run, but uh, I also don't remember if um, if the if the like three lives, the three attempts are across the board, or if you get three per track. We'll see. I might be getting a game over very soon. <laughs> Come on, no! God damn it. Son of a bitch. Let's try that again. Okay. Cool. They didn't give me a game over immediately, so that means that at least I have two more attempts, hopefully. We'll find out. Christ. Uh, yeah, no, that's not gonna happen.
that definitely not gonna happen. Can I just restart? Yes. I think this is the last one. Last try. Last try. <laughs> and if it doesn't work, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm giving up. Well, not giving up, but I'm moving on to uh, 97. I think. Um, I mean, you know, admittedly, admittedly, it's not, it's not all the controller's fault. I'm not going to blame the controller for everything, but, um, it is, it is not, not a, as good an experience as, you know, fans of the Nagicon make it out to be. <laughs> let's, let's put it that way. God damn it. Totally controller's fault. Yeah, you know what? Maybe, you're, maybe you're right. <laughs> no, no, no. But for real, like, like I, I don't know. Like, I feel like, I feel like if I practice more and if I rewired my brain, I could get good with it. But like right off the bat, having played for like an hour and change, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like drastically better than just using using digital controls maybe for other games it might uh, you know maybe for for something like ridge racer that is p potentially a bit slower it might be okay but for something like this like like it's the same kind of i'm getting the same i'm getting the same vibe as um as with Trackmania, in this, in the, in a sense that Trackmania is a game or a series that I played a lot on on PC with like a keyboard, <laughs> right? Because you can just use the arrow keys, and it's the the mechan like the physics of it, or like the the model, like the, like the driving, you know, model, whatever you want to call it, is is set up or is it works in a way that um digital inputs are perfectly fine for it like it's it's kind of uh let's see how how do i say this in a, in a way that sort of makes sense because because like the thing about the thing about um track mania is that it's deterministic completely oh fuck me oh that was the very end too god damn it no Come on, I can still make it. I can still make it. Let me, let me fire it. Let me fire it. No. No. Shit. God damn it. That was it. That was it. That ruined it. That ruined it. I had the third position right there, and and I'm no. Fuck me. That's a game over. That's a game over right there. All right. Okay. Well. Fuck. Uh, it's weird how keyboard works well for a game like Trackmania. Yeah, well, that's the thing. So, like, um, the way that Trackmania works, or at least for, for me, or, like, the way that I kind of, like, internalized it, it's, it's more about, um, like, precise application of, of digital inputs. So, like, you can take, you can take a corner, and the way that you, you would play it is that, um... You know, for a lot of the tracks, you would basically um, take a corner just like full throttle, you know, full steering, and then if you apply it at the right time and you commit to it, it will, you know, you'll end up coming out the right way, you know, or like you can do a little bit of like, you know, like tapping and stuff, but like overall, a lot of the track designs were such that you could just like full on just commit to like a particular input right or at the very least for for like nations in particular i think or like that that the sort of like stadium style tracks and like wipeout counter feels like that to me i don't know but like it's it's quick enough and and it's like the corners come at you fast enough that you should be able to just do like you know like a full 
full turn or whatever. Because like the air brakes are, are digital anyway, like digital inputs. So it's it's more about the timing than than anything, anything else. I don't know. Um. Well, okay. So, <laughs> so that was kind of embarrassing. I uh, kind of failed at that. But let's let's see. Let's see if I'm any better at 97. I don't think I will be. But let's let's try that because I'm curious to see how the um, if the if the Netcon implementation is any different. So if I if I go to hold on. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's 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 do that. Okay, my power Excel, and then I'll change the. Because this one, this one might be a bit challenging. Um, Especially because uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to be a, get a bit more creative with the uh, with the air brake stuff. I think we'll see. Uh, oh yeah, I love I love 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 the uh, the Red Bull product placement in this. <laughs> the fucking the fucking loading screen that goes like improve reaction time, drink Red Bull, is just so funny. Like, marketing was so edgy around this time, and, it, and it's it, I can't think of a better sponsor for for Wipeout than than an energy drink. I wanted to play that because it's so fucking sick. I love it. I love it so much. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What are we? What are we dealing with here? Um, so it's good to see again. Uh, full full support. Like the prompts are Nejicon specific. So that's good to see. Controller config. Button config. Okay. Um, let's go with, let's set it up the same way as, as the, the other one. B, change view, um, we can make that blue. Oh wait, no, hold on. Uh, oh. Uh, discard weapon. Oh no, it won't let me do it. Because if I make, if I make the left air break, oh, I won't be able to do that either. I might just have to remap it in, 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 the, um, in the emulator settings. Hold on. So, because what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is that I can make. Uh, no, but the problem is I don't have enough digital buttons. That's what I'm Well, I'll just have to. I'll just have to set it to something like this. One. Um, I. I. Chances are, I won't be discarding many weapons. I think is the is the bottom line. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, 
because that's that's going to be really out of the way. Basically, the problem the problem with this kind of setup is that you have to take your um, your thumb of the of the throttle. Um, also, hold on. I let me know. Let me know if the volume is is okay. All right, but yeah, let's go with that for now. Twist config. So, uh, so maximum lock again. Um, I think I did 90 earlier. That seemed to be work working. Uh, Wait, what's the... Oh. Okay, hold on. So center settings. Okay, that helps. So this, this I am able to do, in theory. And then... Dead spot. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I'll keep that. But yeah, I didn't understand. I didn't understand this though. Hold on. So, new angle. It goes to 180 in one direction and then 180 in the other direction. So, what happens if I set it to 90? Will that, will that recognize that it's 90 in the other direction as well? Because I can't seem to. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, people view exterior, view screen. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. There, there are some, there are some serious like quality of life improvements in this. So just being able to set a name so that you don't have to type it in every single time helps so much. Oh wait, fuck. Okay. All right. So, uh, let's let's give it a go. We'll, we'll see. Uh, it's got arcade. No, is it? Is it arcade? Arcade link. So that's two player, one on one. If I'm yeah, single race. All right, well, let's give it a go. Um, I don't remember if there were. I don't remember what the mechanics of uh of 2097 were exactly. Uh, AG systems. So this one, basically, the way the 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 big change, I guess, is the um, is the pitch control, uh, which actually didn't let me change it. So I assume that's just up and down. That's just standard. And then, uh, oh wait, hold on. Oh, it should be okay. We'll see. Um, that's in track. Yeah. So this is this is what I was thinking of. This is what I was thinking of. So depending on the speed class that you choose, uh, there will be a different different selection of tracks. So this one has a a speed class below Venom, which would typically be the the lowest speed class in in other games. Got talents reach. Hopefully, you know I don't suck at it so bad, so badly that I that I fail at the beginner. <laughs> uh, the beginner uh, uh, tracks. 
Improve reaction time. Red Bull. One, go. But yeah, so in addition to the um, to the pitch control, they they also introduced what is basically like a like a pit stop. It's kind of a kind of like an F zero style kind of thing where you can charge up. So as your um, as your shield energy depletes, you can you can heal up. It didn't let me. It did not save my default name then. I'll have to, I'll have to check that again. Here I was. I was like, oh, that's so cool. You know, whatever. Go back to menu. Okay. So does it. Um, I guess it just records what the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I remember what it is. So. So basically, as you go through the tracks, it will remember what your best position is. Okay. Uh, let's try Sagar Martha. Oh. Yeah, so basically, you, you would unlock um, you would unlock tracks afterwards. Uh, or I, I think that was, um, Three, two, I think that one, there's like an extra track that you can unlock or something. Oh. <laughs> Off to a great start. Okay. But yeah, this this feels this immediately feels more um, more forget it more forgiving. Like if you scrape a wall just a little bit, it's still not as bad as uh, the first game was. I know this is the instrumental version of Firestarter, but I suspect it might get, it might still get muted. So, oopsie. <laughs> uh, audio, audio jungle. Oh, 
come on. Nah, oh no, I missed it. I missed it. I might die here. I don't think, because, so for this one you can discard weapons, but I don't think you can absorb their energy. No, oh, well. Alright. Let's try again. Yeah, I think you definitely need to, um, uh, be more mindful. These are these are only two laps, so maybe ideally you would recharge, you know, like repair after the first one. I, I missed it on the previous one. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Alright, th this feels better. <laughs> this feels better. I don't know, maybe maybe it's just uh, uh, that I'm, I'm slightly more used to it, but this this feels a lot nicer. Uh, I still don't think it's it, it's it's uh, significantly better with the with the Neji Kondo, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. Can I pick a different one? So I've got gold on these two now. Uh, what about Venom? Valkyrie, sir. Nisha, but okay. Three, two, one, go. These tracks really do suffer. I'm I'm tempted. I'm tempted to increase the uh, the internal uh, render resolution for this one. Because oh boy, 240p 240p is is not a whole lot. Over uh, that's not a lot of pixels. Ah. No. Mm. So a lot of, lot of, lots of autopilot. Weirdly enough. Um, I don't remember if you, if you unlock weapons as you go on. Maybe you do. Roger. 
rocket. I like four gold. This one, this one is definitely more reliant on uh, on air brake. Nah. Okay. Okay. Well, I got second on the first try. That's not too bad. I'm gonna try again. Oh no, I forgot to uh, to change the name. Damn it. I'm gonna give that another go. Um three, two, one, go. But yeah, I don't expect to I, I don't I think I might skip the rapier uh tracks. But I'll, I'll try to get I'll try to get a gold on, on the on up to Venom. And then I think what I might do just in a Kind of like the last bit is um, go back, go back to uh, to the original and try with just the regular controller. See, see how that works. Like, what happens if I? Oh, come on. Like, what happens if I if I just use the D-pad? It's a bit tricky to um no I feel like I was I was doing I was doing all right in, in avoiding those. Three, two, one, go. I, I was just about to point out the uh, the Red Bull billboards that uh, alternate between the Red Bull logo and the word rush. <laughs>
energy as well. Jesus Christ, man. This is not the run either, but let's finish it. Ah, come on. Again. Three, two, one, go. Maybe maybe coming second right off the bat was a bit of a fluke. <laughs> I'm starting to think. But
think I need to pitch down way earlier for that to work. I keep, I keep bottoming out on, on those, those jumps. On those bumps, I guess. Ah. Shit. Fuck. Oh. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Missile. I die at the very last bit. Okay. Uh, I'm come on, come on, come on. Clutch, clutch. Let me have it, let me have it. No. Fuck. Okay, close, close. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause, 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 pause. Let me, let me try something. Let me try something because my, <laughs> I'm going cross-eyed. I, I assume this looks great on the, on the CRT, but because I'm the way I'm, I'm looking at it on my screen looks just awful. Hold on. Uh, if I do, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. That might look still pretty much the same to you. Hopefully, it looks nicer. Three, two, right. one, go. I do love the sound effects though. The uh the the sound effect for the mind is so satisfying. Just like the
Ah. Ah. No. Ah. <laughs> that, yeah, no, my hands were pretty much cramping there. That was, that was bad. Okay, all right. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna give that one more go, I think. Um. But yeah, I think I think I'm getting to the One, point where I'm like, <laughs> I'm ready to, I'm ready to, I'm ready to give up. I'm, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna give this another go. I think. And then, and then I think I'll go back to uh, to the first wipeout. I'm basically what I'm what I'm trying to see is uh, whether I can confirm that I'm just bad at the game, or if I can or if I can redeem myself uh, by using by using a, a standard controller. We'll we'll find out. Way past me. Ah. No, no, I'm not me. I kind of, I kind of tilted. I'm not gonna lie at this point. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> God damn it! Alright. Oh. Okay, one more, one more, one more try. <clears throat> How is it that I'm not even immediately behind him? Just completely avoided the other guy.
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. All right. Okay. <laughs> I think that's the perfect, perfect place uh, for me, for me to uh, go back. <laughs> uh, hold on. Wait, is this a replay or? Oh no, no, no! I meant to, I meant to exit. Uh, return to menu. Okay. Uh, it did not save it. Okay, no, it did. All right. Cool. All right. Okay. Well, I guess my my feedback on that is that it definitely felt better than the first game, but I don't know if I would prefer. I don't know if I prefer um uh, the magic one. So, um. Let me uh. Where's my cable? All right, bear with me one second, one second. Oh, made those noises. I'm gonna do uh, is I'm I'm swapping out the controller. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I if I just try if I just try like a regular sort of digital digital controller, right? So if I do, um, I'm just I'm just like gonna make it so that uh, I don't even have to worry about. The stick, so go up. Okay, right. Okay, all right. Uh, we're right back in. Uh, wait, hold on. What does that say? Does that say antique repro on the on the dial? I I don't think you're meant to be able to read that. <laughs> uh, the regular regular resolution. All right. Okay. So so basically, you know, I'm I'm now back uh, on on what is essentially a PlayStation controller. I'm gonna try basically the exact same thing, but this time I only have a D-pad to steer with. Uh, I will see if I can change the options config. So I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it so that. Oh, that's a fancy. That's a fancy animation for um, thrust on cross fire on square. Change your triangle, right air break. Yeah, that. Is there another one that puts uh, fire on R1? Uh, mm, that's tempting. I, I I'll, I'll see. I'll see if I can go with this one. I kind of got used to it with um, with the Nejicon. Okay. So, one player, Venom Class Championship. Let's do AG Systems. John Duck is fine. And we'll we'll see.
There's there, there's a lot riding on this. It's it's basically it's just me versus <laughs> me versus the night Uh Oh okay. Hold on. I feel significantly slower though coming back from. I mean, I guess, I guess the it was technically the same speed class, but I don't know. It might apply. Uh, Venom in 2097 might be rapier in in the in the original. I mean, it does require a bit of like tappy tap, you know, kind of like smaller adjustments and, and things like that. But like, oh shit! Come on. Ah, no, that was a bad idea. It was a really bad idea. Okay. Alright, come on. Probably take seconds. Just uh Oh. Ah no! Damn it. Alright, well I guess third will do too, as long as I'm qualifying. Okay. Let's 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 go with that. I'll take I'll take that. That's fine, whatever. All right. 
Trying to get him around that corner. Okay. I mean, I do. I I know that I'm not doing significantly better, but I do feel like I'm more in control. For what it's worth. Like the especially. Which, I don't know, I, I mean, it might be, uh, uh, it might just be that the, the air brakes feel different. Or like the, the, like, bumpers, you know? But like, the steering, I'm, I'm, like, I'm not missing the analog steering all that much. Weirdly enough. I'm still not sure. I think with um, I think I think with 2097, I was able to sort of more instinctively get the the boost of the of the launch of the uh, the starting line. With this, I'm I don't remember exactly how you do it. If if because if you if you apply full throttle as soon as you uh, as soon as you get the go, it like drops to zero pretty much, and then it climbs from there. Shame. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that there's a way to to do it properly. But yeah, that this that that segment with the um, sort of left right consecutive left right turns with air brake and everything felt incredible like so much better with digital controls than it did with the with the magic on weirdly enough like oh fuck come on like that might just be like a either a, you know it could be a skill issue it could just be the way that my brain is wired whatever but like
That was so much, that was so much better. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, okay. Um, I'll take it, that's fine, whatever. Oh, damn it. I wasn't going that slow, was I? Damn it. Alright. still didn't work god damn it <laughs> how is it so far off that's like okay never mind never mind i i'm gonna i'm gonna have to just go out and just like come up with the uh most complicated fucking twitch integrated or not even twitch but like you know um, like online clock adjustment kind of kind of thing for for this fucking for this fucking thing. Like I might need to I might need to script it so that it integrates with OBS or something. I don't know. Oh come on! All right now I'm I'm restarting that. Okay. No, and it still doesn't. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure there's a trick to get the, uh, you know, to get a decent start. But I can't, I can't work it out. I would have to look it up. That is really unforgiving, like... Like, as soon as you just, like, bump the, uh... Bump a wall, like, it slows you down enough that you, it's just impossible to make the jump afterwards.
back again in like seventh place trying to like <laughs> there we go okay <sighs> damn it Again, ah, damn it. No, oh, just about made it, but come on. Okay, well. Last try. Last try. Cheesy treats for dogs. I hadn't actually noticed that one before. I think I think that kind of that kind of seals the deal. I don't think I'm gonna get anything decent here. All right, well, <laughs> damn it. GG. Alright, well. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's whatever. That 
guys. That is... <laughs> that is really bad. Okay. All right. Come on. Let me... Let, just let me finish. Let me finish it. All right. Okay. Yeah. Give me the game over. Okay. So... <laughs> So what have we learned? Uh, am I embarrassingly bad at early wipeout? Yes. Uh, is the uh, the Negicon a, a great controller that is a fucking game changer? Uh, no, if you ask me. <laughs> let's let's go with that. Let's go with that. I think I think. Uh, um... I think I, I will go with that. If I if I I mean. Now I'm kind of now I'm kind of like I've got the itch. I kind of wanna I kind of wanna practice this uh, a little bit and see if I can see if I can actually get like decent at it. Uh, I think. Oh wait, hold on. Is there like a? Is it just gonna play in a track mode or something? Okay, I can I can do that. That's fine. I'll just lower the volume a little bit. Um. While while I sign off, because I think I think that's that's probably gonna be it. But um, yeah. So like I now I now kind of have the itch. I think I can do better, um, and I kind of want to practice it. But if I were to do it, I would probably end up just using a regular controller. I don't think I don't think there's much. There's unfortunately there's not that much value to the uh, 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 to the magic on. Well, I, I will definitely give it another shot once I get the the other adapter and and I can finally try it with with the two working triggers. That might change the ergonomics just enough that I can kind of work with it. But realistically, I don't know. It's it's a bit it's a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky. Um. So yeah, uh, I think. I think with that, um, on that on that somewhat disappointing note, <laughs> you know, I'm I'm probably gonna call it here. Uh, I noticed that um, Ashley Miami has gone online. Uh, they are playing. Um, they're playing uh, uh, my house .wad, which you might have seen that video going around. Uh, that video essay about it. Um, I'm, I'm, I haven't watched the video essay, so I'm, I'm kind of. I, I think I might just experience it for the first time, just, just right there. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see. But uh, for those of you who, are, you know, who stuck around, thank you, thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, I'm gonna start the raid. Uh, And then, yeah, um, I think, I think they're still in the, uh, um, uh, uh, starting soon screen, but, you know, uh, but yeah, thank you so much for hanging out. Um, you know, I, I will be streaming again tomorrow. I, I kind of scheduled another sort of, um, Ace Combat 4, uh, uh, grind i guess you can you can call it that like a, a um you know a rank attempt uh, a stream that's probably going to be the final ace combat 4 stream i'll see how long i can go if i manage to uh to beat all of the levels you know unlock the final aircraft that would be great otherwise you know i you know i'll probably just do it my own time maybe post a picture about it on twitter or something but yeah, uh, just in case, you know, if um, if you don't follow me on Twitter yet and you would like to consider following me, uh, it's right there. I'll post updates there and occasionally retweet funny things. Uh, <laughs> I don't I don't post all that much myself. And uh, yeah, grab the raid message. If you happen to have a sub, you can also use the sub raid. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So have a good one and talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, cheers, bye.